What's going on guys, it is Jago back again with another video and today we're going to be talking about the badly under misunderstood Saints Row reboot. I'm not going to defend it or anything but I'll just give my opinion and two cents on it. I'll probably say a lot of things that people have already said, I know I'm a little late but if you guys are interested, you know, uh, stick around, enjoy, remember to drop a like and subscribe if you do end up enjoying though and uh, yeah, let's hop right into I also know the uploads on this main channel here have been a little weird lately, a little bit inconsistent but i have gotten back into college and i'm doing school now full time as well as the second channel but if you want to see more of me go check out the second channel it's some funny variety content i got a video coming out today probably right after this video that you're watching right here comes out so maybe you'll be uh first to stop by but anyways the saints row reboot something that we've been waiting for since like what 2014 20 no 2013 2013? With Saints Row 4, Agents of Mayhem, Get Out of Hell, Volition, the developers of the game have been got, getting a lot, <laughs> a lot of bad rap. No one liked the superhero shit. No one liked the Agents of Mayhem, Fortnite, non-gang related stuff. The Agents of Mayhem, you're literally like secret agents or something. I never really played the game. No, you know, I it could be enjoyable. I don't know. I never played it, but whatever. This new Saints Row reboot sticks to the Agents of Mayhem art style, the Fortnite looking thing, and it's really, really disappointing because uh, Saints Row is about the uh, you know gangsters, and you're supposed to be this most feared street gang and. <laughs> when you're dressed up in a kitty cat helmet, it doesn't always look like that. Bruh. That and with the Fortnite character style, a lot of the characters end up looking the same. The same exact like body style, I should say. Now, I'm not, I'm not here to body shame or anything, but all the Saints Row characters look like these skinny little Twitter hipsters, you know? Uh, but that's only because of the art style. They really just make their bodies look all the same. There's only one interesting looking character, and it's the, I'm guessing, the Shondi type character. I'm not, I'm not saying it is Shondi, but the Shondi looking character. But the only real thing we got from the trailer is that it's going to be mad cringe. It's just going to be a couple of nerdy hipsters. It reminds me literally of Watch Dogs 2. There's no really interesting characters. They're kind of just there to make cringy jokes and just be part of the ride. They took this Ubisoft turn and they don't want to make any interesting characters anymore. But, you know, back back in the day they used to have Johnny Gat and Shondi and Pierce and all these interesting good characters that people really loved. The original Saints Row characters each played their own role. Johnny Gat was like the enforcer muscle guy. Pierce was like the marketing smart guy, you know? They all played this different role, which in Saints Row trailer, you can't really tell who does what. <laughs> we'll hop into the trailer and my little breakdown in a minute, but one thing I'd like to say is that the only thing that'll make this game good is the gameplay and the story. Now the story is really off to a very bad foot, because with a good story you gotta have good characters, and with no good characters no one is gonna wanna watch the cutscenes or anything, no one is gonna wanna really immerse themselves or really buy into the whole fact of Fortnite, Gangster, Saints Row, Cringe Fest, Comic Con, <laughs> I don't know, I'm just... But the gameplay, the gameplay of Saints Row, it's always been this fun, arcadey, explosive, uh, just like really wacky gameplay. It could still hit the head on the nail with the gameplay. And it could look really good. I'll, I'll hop into the trailer in a second. I'll talk about some of the destructive environments that could possibly be in the game. I know it is a cinematic trailer and not actual gameplay, but... But... That, that could be the case of destructive environment as well as the car destruction looks pretty good as well So here is our favorite character so far the guy who puts on the kitty cat helmet And as you guys can see there's nothing really interesting about him. You couldn't tell exactly what he does He doesn't have this distinctive feature about him He's just a skinny little hipster guy that puts out a kitty cat helmet He'll probably be more the humorous kind, but what he'll actually serve to the gang we don't know yet. This girl, she's just this cringy little watch out. Maybe she's the brains of the operation. But then again, here's a Shondi. She could also be the brains of the operation. I don't know. We don't really know the roles of these characters yet. Maybe we'll find out more. But she looks like the only interesting character, this Shondi type character. That's all I'm really going to say so far. That that could be the only good character. Here's when the weirdo cat guy, I believe his name is Kev or Kevin. 
Uh, he's gonna pull up to the deal now. See, I, what I like about this gang that they're, you know, stealing from is that they all have different distinctive features. You know, the boss has these big muscles, and he's like the distinctive difference of the entire gang. The other people, they actually look like they're enforcers or strength or, you know, serve a purpose to the gang. And here's the other last character. He is wearing a tuxedo. He just looks mad cringe. I don't want anything to do with him. And yeah, you know, another good look at all the characters that they're stealing from. You know, the big boss. He actually looks intimidating. He actually looks, he could rip your head off and the other people do too look they you know they're they're frowning they just don't look happy and then this kid this feckin kid i don't like him he specifically i don't like he just looks like the cringiest of them all i don't like him he's wearing a tuxedo i just don't like that here is by far the best part of the trailer Please get the fuck away from my friends. The explosions do look really cool, but cinematic trailer could just be extra effects. Mad cringe. She has green hair. That's just not something, you know, a Saints Row gangster would really have. And, oh, and some of the destructive environment, that could possibly be a thing. The car destruction looks really cool, and that's part. It just completely flattens, totaled, not even look at, you know, it's not even good anymore. <clears throat> Here's what I don't like as well. They're all passed out in the car. The Shawnee character wakes up. She has nothing to defend herself with. She has nothing to defend herself with. Whereas Johnny Gat, if he were in this cutscene, he would shoot him on sight, no questions asked. And then this cringy, don't mess with my friends. That, that just icing on the cake, mad cringe fest, Fortnite. I don't know why Volition thinks that that trailer was a good idea at all the fortnite agents of mayhem art style not a whole lot of people are digging i i agree you know if i'm looking for a saints row open world you know adventure game i'm looking for more realism like gta or the past saints rows that um you know weren't as arcadey <laughs> fortnite looking you know but who knows the game comes out uh next february so that's actually like just pretty much right around the corner we'll hear more about the game and whether or not it'll actually be decent like i said the only thing that's gonna make this game crawl back to earth is that if it has good gameplay and a decent story characters don't look interesting at all but if it somehow ends up having a good story maybe some good villains or something but anyways that was just my uh you know two cents on the whole saints row reboot thing like i said i know i was a bit late so if any other news of saints row comes out maybe i'll be sure to upload new saints row information as the coming weeks or months and uh see what the game ends up actually being like maybe i'll get it just to have make one video on it whether it's to make fun of it or to praise it but yeah, that's really all I had to say. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Please remember to drop a like and subscribe. Go check out that second channel. I'm uploading a little bit more frequently over there now with a variety of content. So if you're interested in me and you want to see more of me, go check it out. But thanks again, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.